Our company began with a spark of imagination. Wait, no it didn't. It began with a why not. Why not make a company? Hell, why not make our own cameras? Listen, anyone can be a photographer, and the tools to be one are literally everywhere. Phones, iPads, cheap cameras, toy cameras, dash cams, fucking potatoes. Anything can be a camera. And so anyone can be a photographer. But we wanted to feel special and innovative, so we said, fuck it, let's make our own cameras. We'd be following in the footsteps of camera daddy George Eastman. Why make progress when you can regress? No, but seriously, trying to make your own camera really makes you stop to appreciate photography and the artistry of analog cameras. And so, the idea to make our own camera manufacturing company was born. Oh yeah, and one of our creepy friends also wanted to make a company, so I guess he's with us too. But look, I'm getting ahead of myself. We first needed to make our own camera to see if it's possible. The first camera was the Green O Matic, named after our co founder Justin Green, or JD, or Justin. The Green O Matic was a simple pinhole camera. We took a GFS box, cut a hole out, and stretched some paper towel across the back. It worked like an old view camera. We saw the image projected on the paper towel, but that's all the Green O Matic could do. We used our phone to take the actual picture. The green matic was some kind of success, but we needed to make a camera that actually worked with film. The next camera would be a Frankensteinian abomination between a brownie, a Graflex, and an old view camera. We took the box of a VHS tape, cut two holes out, a small hole for the lens, and a large hole for the film. We took the lens off an old Docker's disposable camera and taped it over the lens hole. By the way, we have two of these damn things and we don't know shit about them. Anyway, the width of the VHS box was almost the same as the Docker's, so the lens should be somewhat in focus. Somewhat. The average range on disposable cameras are usually fixed from six feet to infinity, so it should work, right? I strung some Ilford 120 through a Graflex 120 converter. We would press this up against the square hole in the back so once we advanced the roll, the film would be ready for exposure. Using some scrap cardboard, we made a crude sliding shutter. And I mean crude. We didn't even know if the speed was true 1 60th. Once the film was in place, I pulled the slide out and snapped our first photo. These were the results. Eastman named his first simplified and accessible box camera the Brownie, after the children's book characters. Maybe. It's not really clear where he got the name from, but whatever. We decided to one-up him and name ours the Strawberry Shortcake. The shortcake for short. The next improvement was wrapping the whole thing in black electrical tape and spray painting it black so it's nice and light tight. And it worked! Focus pending. Now, what did we learn from all of this? I'm not sure. Cameras are just wonderful, simple machines, and fairly easy to make. So why not make a bunch of them and sell them? Come to think of it, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Everyone should have a strawberry shortcake. I hope you're proud of us, Daddy Eastman. I hope you're proud of us.